Hi, and welcome to this PowerShell quick tip video. This is going to be a really quick one. We're actually going to be taking a look at one of the commandlets we've already seen, and we're going to be expanding on that commandlet a little bit. And that is going to be the out grid view commandlet. So we've seen it as we can grab a data set, like either from Active Directory, from our services, from our processes, from get child item. There are a bunch of ways that we can get a large data set reading from a database. And we can actually output that to out grid view to nicely view that data in a formatted way, which is a little bit better than looking at it in the terminal. So if I just use, for example, a get process here and we just run the get process, we could read the information, um, but it's a little bit hard to read. Sometimes it may be a little bit kind of hard to keep track of what line you're on. But as soon as we actually add a pipe and we pipe that to out grid view, it definitely gets a lot better and we actually get a nice little window here we've already seen how to set the title we could definitely do a select to limit the type of columns that we get or add or remove columns that we get as well and we can go ahead and we can like highlight the line so we can actually nicely read this line and see exactly what information is on that line without getting sidetracked by the above or below line but there is an actual other feature in OutGrid View that kind of lets you use it as a menu or like a GUI selector that you can actually pipe afterwards to something else or get that into a variable. And that parameter is the output mode. It has three types of values. It has none, uh, which is not very useful in our situation, uh, but it also has single or multiple. So if you wanted to select multiple different processes or multiple different users, you could do that. Or if you only want to let the end user select one user or one process or any one line of data, uh, you can actually force that as well. So let's actually go ahead and let's take a look at that in action here. So if we just do a get process process here in out grid view output mode as single here, and we are just going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at that and we're going to go ahead and run that. And what it actually adds here is this OK button. And what we can actually do is if we go ahead and we pick game bar here. Now, if I hold down control and I try to select multiples, it doesn't let me. It only lets me pick one. And that is because we did the output mode single. We're going to be showing you the output mode multiple in just a little bit. And you're going to see that we can actually select more than one. Um, but let's pick game bar here and let's click on OK. And here it is. It actually gives me all that info now in the terminal because it outputs that to the terminal because um, there's just nothing else that happens afterwards. But what we can actually do is we can actually set this to a variable. So if we do like selected process is equal to get process out grid view out, output mode single. And we can actually do um, select process. Let me just do selected process here. And we actually run this code. It's going to look the exact same. Uh, let's just pick aggregator host. And there is our info. But now if I just highlight the variable here, we can see that we get the single process that we've actually selected. So something that you'd be able to do here is actually take in some type of user input to be able to maybe you want to prompt them to enter a username. Um, and then you're going to get all the AD usernames that are similar to that user. Um, like maybe it's going to have a wild card at the end. So if someone types in uh, Smith J, it's going to get you all the usernames that have Smith J at the beginning. And then the end user can then pick on the username that they want to apply some sort of change to. And it just gives you a little bit more of a nicer feel to maybe your scripts instead of displaying everything on the terminal, which can get kind of messy sometimes. It just kind of cleans that up. Um, but let's actually go ahead and let's change the output mode here to multiple. Let's go ahead and let's run this here. And here, if we just go back down to game bar and I hold down the control button, I can actually select multiple. So here we've selected explore and we've selected game bar. If I click on okay, it actually gives me the two processes that we've selected. So this is a very, very great tool if Again, maybe you have a script that kind of runs like a little bit of a program and you're giving some user an option. Maybe instead of displaying the options 
um, in text in the terminal and associating them to maybe like number values of one, two, and three, and four, uh, or however other that you can actually make these selections. Maybe they have to type out the one that they want. To avoid those types of typos, maybe you can output those options to out grid view and then have an output mode on the out grid view and then handle the rest of your application that way. It just avoids user input and just makes it look a little bit nicer for the end user at the end of the day. Uh, so hopefully you guys liked this quick tip for the out grid view. If you guys have any other commandlets that you guys want me to look at, or maybe just even a specific parameter of a commandlet you guys want me to look at, kind of like this output mode for out grid view, please let me know in the comment section down below and I will do my best to get through all of those for you guys. If you guys have a question or a comment, please let me know down in the comment section as well. I will try to get to every single one. Um, and if it's something that can benefit a lot of people, I will make a video on that topic. Also, please be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to hit that notification bell to be notified when that next video comes out. And I will see you guys on the next video.